Playful Tiger is a Morgan 321, a 32 foot sloop rigged with a shoal draft and a three blade fixed prop driven by a Yanmar diesel. Down below is sleeping for six, though four adults is more comfortable. There's a port galley with alcohol burning stove and sink. There is a nav station with VHF radio and the inboard electronics. The head is a powered head. There is also a sink and some storage. Moving forward, you'll find the V-berth, which is a traditionally laid out V-berth. There is also some storage and lighting in the V-berth, as well as a forward hatch. Starting the engine on Playful Tiger requires coming down below and switching on the batteries. Switch all batteries to the on position. In the cockpit, turn the key to the on position, and then the start button is directly to the left of it. Press and hold. You may get that stall. That stall means that the engine is cold, and you should give it a little bit of throttle when it starts, maybe about a quarter till it warms up. starting the motor, look at the aft transom and ensure that water is being expelled from the exhaust. The kill switch is on the right. Pull and hold and then press back in. It's important to make sure that the key is always in the on position while the engine is running. Once the engine is off, you can turn it to the off position. The key is left in the ignition. With the main house battery on, all of your electronics for inside the cabin can be turned on at the main panel. The bilge for Playful Tiger is located under the floorboard inside the cabin, just at the bottom of the companionway. There's an automatic switch in the bilge, there's also a manual switch, which will run the pump regardless if the float is up or down. There is also kept on the port side, the handle for the manual bilge, which is located in the cockpit. The manual bilge pump is located on the starboard side in the back of the boat. Insert the handle and then pump up and down. It usually requires 15 to 20 seconds to prime the pump when the bilge is full. Winch handles are also kept on the port side in the galley. There's a small tool kit underneath the charting table. On Playful Tiger, when plugged into shore power, there is a battery charger switch and an AC main and reverse polarity switch located just under the companionway above the steps. The shore power cable connects to a receptacle on the port side of the boat just outside of the cockpit over the combing. The dock line should run through the middle gap in the cleat and wrap around the horns and then be run through the chalk on either side before him being tied off to the cleats on the dock. The dock line at midship goes around a cleat in much the same fashion as the forward cleat, but this one is located on a rail that can be moved fore and aft for a better angle. The stern lines also go through the center gap of the cleat before going to the dock. The fenders should attach to the lower lifelines and be in the middle third 
of the boat best between the two stanchions to fend the boat off of the dock. So let's talk a little bit about the design and sailing characteristics of the Morgan 321. Morgan yachts built quality sailboats in the United States for a long time. The design idea behind the Morgan 321 was to have a boat that was sized at a manageable size but also large enough for two people to comfortably live aboard. The boat is designed with a shoal draft and a skeg rudder, which gives you the ability to get into shallower waters. It also has a wider beam than most boats. This produces the ability to have more space down below than your average 32-footer. Being that it has a shoal draft, this often means that you're going to reef a little bit earlier than most other boats in the same size. So you will usually fly full sail area up to about 12 knots of wind. And then once you get above 12, you're probably going to want to put in a reef in the main. Anything above 18 knots, you're probably going to reduce the head sail size as well. The boat is a very tough boat, and though it does like to heel, once it gets to about 20 to 25 degrees of heel angle, it really does stiffen up and transfers that heel into forward motion. So whether you're venturing across the lake, out for a day sail, or simply staying back at the dock or mooring for some refreshments, the Morgan 321 will foot the bill. She really is possibly the toughest 32-footer on the water and is very comfortably laid out and easy to sail. So let's talk a little bit about the design and sailing characteristics of the Morgan 321. Morgan yachts built quality sailboats in the United States for a long time. The design idea behind the Morgan 321 was to have a boat that was sized at a manageable size but also large enough for two people to comfortably live aboard. The boat is designed with a shoal draft and a skeg rudder, which gives you the ability to get into shallower waters. It also has a wider beam than most boats. This produces the ability to have more space down below than your average 32-footer. 